this plant I'll never forget I was in my friend's garden and she stepped away to use the washroom and I was looking around in her garden and I spotted it and this is my internal dialogue I'm gonna act it out to you just a few what is this what is this tansy maybe what the heck is this my friend came back from the washroom and proceeded to inform me that it is, in fact, Phacelia. Phacelia tanisetifolia. Phacelia, Greek for bundles. That's because of the way that it flowers in these little clusters. And tanisetifolia, Latin for leaves like tansy. If you've ever seen wild tansy growing, the leaves do resemble tansy quite a bit. Tansy is also known as scorpion weed, blue tansy, yellow tansy, lacy phacelia, lots of different names. Phacelia loves full sun and it likes rocky, sandy soils. It grows quite easily, it has those things. The flowers are very special because they emerge in these clusters like we talked about, but different from a lot of other flowers, they flower in what's called sequence. So one plant, like this little pot here, will be flowering for a period of possibly four to five months because they all flower at different times. So this is awesome for pollinators. This is a bee's best friend. Also, companion planting wise, if you put this in a pot like this, I would lie if I said this was strategic, I just wanted to have some phacelia in a pot. but. If you're growing cucumbers or melons or uh, squash, something that needs a lot of pollen transfer, grow some phacelia and place it near these plants that need a lot of pollen. A uh, simple thing you can do to increase your pollination. And this is the phacelia seed. It spreads very easily. You can see I saved mine last year, so this is all just kind of husk. And then these little brown seeds are what you're looking for. Uh, the Phacelia seedlings are quite leggy when they come up. That's pretty normal. It's just the way that plant is. I actually seeded uh, probably too many seeds in this little pot and they were really close together and it's still doing okay. Um, it's pretty resilient so you can expect to see that legginess if you seed them. Not only is Phacelia an amazing pollination plant, it's used a lot in agriculture for a cover crop. Uh, it's a great nitrogen holder and a great weed suppressor and of course attracts pollinators which can only be beneficial on a farm. Ooh, I just caught a whiff. It smells quite sweet as well. That's really nice. Almond orchards and vineyards. It's not uncommon for those types of places to use Phacelia as a little pollination boost in a natural way. Imagine just a carpet of this stuff in a giant field on a farm. Be like a lavender carpet with a gentle buzz because of all the bees. Imagine that for a second. Imagine that. Subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more videos like this. They come out every Friday. Phacelia tanisetifolia. Kind of sounds like a rap. Phacelia tanisetifolia. <laughs>